Density is a measure of how much mass of a substance there is in a given area. The more mass in an area, the higher the density of the object. Here we have two different objects. We will say that these have the same volume. In this diagram, we can see there are more mass in the area, so it is more dense. Whereas in this diagram, there is less mass in the area, uh, so it is less dense. You can work out the density with the following equation. Density is equal to the mass over or divided by the volume. Let's go through a worked example. Calculate the density of 10 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in two decimeters cubed of water. Step one, we need to find the values that we know. The mass is 10 grams. So we'll write that here. And this will be divided by the volume, which is two decimeters cubed. So we go and we write that underneath, that's here. We can then calculate the answer, which is 10 divided by two, is five kilograms per meter cubed. You need to be able to measure the density of solids and liquids. To find the density of a liquid, step one, place a measuring cylinder on a balance and zero it. Then you're going to pour 10 milliliters of the liquid into the measuring cylinder and record its mass. Then work out the density of this by dividing the mass, which you find on the scale, by the volume. Repeat this by adding another 10 milliliters into the cylinder, record the mass again, and again find the density by doing mass divided by volume. Repeat until the measuring cylinder is full. You will then find the average of your density. This will give you the density of the liquid. To find the density of a regular solid, you can place the solid on a scale, calculate its volume by doing length times width times height, then to work out density by dividing the mass which you find on a scale, divided by the volume. To find the density of an irregular solid, you're going to place the solid on the scale. To calculate its volume, we need to use a Eureka can, which looks like this. We're going to submerge the irregular solid into the Eureka can, like we've done here. The water displaced by the object will be transferred into the measuring cylinder, like here. Record the volume of the measuring cylinder. This is the volume of the irregular solid. To then find the density, you can do the mass divided by volume. You have now learnt about how density, how to work out density, and how to find the density of solids and liquids. You will find a summary of this information below. Make sure you test yourself using the quiz on reviseitright.com. Why are we the best revision website out there? Well, because we have it all in one place. Revision notes, summary videos, longer, more detailed videos for topics you're struggling on exam question walkthrough videos where qualified teachers take you through the perfect answers to exam questions, worksheets, quizzes, computer marked exam questions, interactive flashcards, forums, the ability to keep track on where you are using our tick list and so much more. But that's not all. We run at least three live lessons a week and closer to exam time this will be more where you can tune into a qualified teacher teaching lots of different topics each week. The lessons will be interactive and we go through exam questions and quick quizzes to ensure understanding as you go. We also run drop-in sessions where you can drop in, ask a tutor anything live, get the answer that you need and leave. These are included in our silver and gold membership. This means that for an extra £10 a month, you can access at least 12 hours of lessons a month. That's under £1 an hour, which is incredibly cheap. Still not convinced? Try us completely free for seven days and cancel any time. Completely free of charge. We offer this because we're convinced that you'll love us. So try us now.